back traders so this will be part four in the beginner series we are in builder and in building blocks tab here where you will choose the blocks uh, to build strategies from uh, as you know uh, sqx is like uh, lego basically it's a combination of blocks to bring a strategy uh, for testing okay so it's a mix and match between these blocks now we went over this when we built the uh, custom blocks which were uh, the uh, candle patterns and there are more uh, custom blocks coming your way I think uh, it will be probably end of this month I'll have something uh, new for you uh, but for now let's go over this so basically the signals it's the condition for entry so the combination of these blocks will be picked to do a condition for entry now you can pick all these we have 271 blocks but how many of these will be chosen to for an entry signal will be based on the uh, the conditions here so conditions in entry rule one to two so that means minimum one maximum two these will be one conditions or two from all these 271 yes of course or a combination of so a condition can be a combinations of these and then if we go down then we'll have indicators again there are total 70 and uh, it's uh, also pick and choose uh, out of these or you can pick all of them and one or two will be picked and last we will have the stop limit entry this block only on when this option is on so if I switch this off it's off if you don't choose a stop order then that block is off so let's switch it again on and you can see now it's there so you cannot not pick anything here and leave this on you will get an error if you are doing stop orders then you need to some to pick some of uh, these here and not you need to pick some of this which is stop limit price levels and some of these stop limit price ranges so one option one from here one from here minimum in order to meet the requirement for Trump stop entry uh, loss and I went into this in more details in uh, the um, strategy template video which you can uh, have a look over it and uh, you will see more details about uh, this tab okay the order types is the market order stop and limit and these are all uh, clearly uh, described uh, I want to bring your attention one more thing here some signals can be customized and uh, let me pick something simple so reset to default for example so ADX if you click on the default the default value is chart and uh, the asterisk uh, is a um, wild card that means everything is allowed period everything level everything shift everything the parameters value is chart data random and the period random level random and shift is random meaning minimum maximum in a step of one now I can force this so ADX I can force the period not using global use custom and let's say 15 minimum and maximum let's say 200 okay and step of 10 so now save now this ADX will use the custom values 
it will not create a IDX period. Actually, let's test this. So instead of this, let's make it 15 to, uh, let's make this 20, uh, and I'll pick this 28. So we'll do 20 to 30, step one. And that's it. So my period is not random. It's it's fixed between 28 to 30, step one. Let's save and let's start building. You use enter stop or limit. Oh, yes. I just told you, you cannot use this if nothing is picked. So now all ADX should be between 28 and 30. So you can see here, ADX higher period 29, higher period 2, 30. 29, 28, 28, 29, 29, 28, 29, 29, 29, 28, 30, 28, 30. 2830. So you can see, even though it's randomized, but I, I custom and some indicators will let you customize this and some not. Same thing, go, reset to default as they're all by default. Same thing goes in the uh, order. So market, enter at market. If I customize this, allow duplicate trades, false, I can make it true. So basically, we only can alter the uh, the allow duplicate trades, either yes, randomly generated, or we're going to fix it, yes or no. And again, you can reset to a default. Same goes for the exits. So we have exit after number of bars, move stop loss to break even, stop loss to break even at pips, Profit target, stop loss, training stop, training stop, training activation, exit rules. The difference here is that you can make it a requirement or an option. So, for example, you can see these are ghosted because it's required. So, if I leave these off, then I can click these. So, currently, let's let's do this. This any strategy will be developed now. It will have a required profit target. Each strategy will have required of it, uh, profit target. But optionally, some of them will have exit after bars, move to break even, stop loss, and exit rule. Exit rule meaning a rule. That means, you know, when it's some kind of logic. If the price closes above Bollinger Band, then exit. Now, again, these can be customized, and we can choose here. Let's say this is the exit after number of bars. Right now, it's random between 5 and 500, step 1. I can customize from 5 to 15, step 1, or I can have it at fixed value, exit after 4 bars. And same goes uh, for uh, the rest. And the last one is custom data indicators. And again, we have a video for that. Uh, hopefully, you'll see the uh, indicator on YouTube now to see that video. Uh, basically, you can uh, import your own custom indicator. And this is a baby step towards uh, building your own indicators into SQX. So why you want to do that? For example, right now I have a market regime filter. Basically, you need to import that indicator. I have it on TradeStation. And in order to use it for, let's say, the ES minis, you need to import it every uh, time you want to use it, yes? Because if you use it and export is last, uh, you done it in February. That means March, April, May, June data is not there. You need to import it again. But when you have your custom indicators built into SQX, that means it's calculated by SQX, then you have it on all the time. But currently, as I said, this is a baby step towards that. So you can import your own indicator and you can see the video on how to do that. Once it's imported, you can use it or uh, not. It's up to you. You can use it as part of these uh, indicators. 
Then we go to, let's clear this. And last, we can uh, randomly choose different blocks. Every time you click it, it will choose randomly different 100. 78 blocks, 81, 83, 74, and so on. And let's say once you choose 74, let's say add more, add another 10, add another 10. You can keep adding 10s, yeah? 10 random blocks. Now all this can be saved as a template. So calibrate indicators. If you read this, indicator output value ranges are used in comparisons, for example, CCI greater than X. So that SQ knows what the maximum range for X value is. The, what, what does that mean? It means, for example, some, let's, let, let's take the average volume. If a stock or a currency or whatever, if the volume is, let's say, maximum volume is 1 million. So there is no need to calculate a hundred million shares. Like, like instead of forcing the, like SQX will build models that has, for example, volumes greater than 50 million. But if the stock never goes above 1 million, then all that will not be used and you cannot, uh, it will be uh, just wasting time. So you can calibrate this automatically for each instrument, uh, or you can leave it like this, or you can customize it manually, like we did before in the custom values. So currently the way uh, SQX had it is uh, they are basically using the maximum range allowable, not the maximum, but it's like, let's say, a range that covers 99% of cases uh, available. So uh, again, you can uh, either uh, use current step value, use the maximum step value, and you can calibrate it automatically before you start. So I usually leave this open and I don't mind wasting time because the computer does it automatically anyway. But you can, like once you feel, once you know your instrument, let's say you're trading silver and you know everything about it, you can go in and customize the value of the ranges for that instrument. So we exit out of that. Epilogue. And next lesson will be about uh, money management. So see you soon in the next video.